the mischievous daughter of the family, holding up a rather gruesome-looking mask, mm. and not only giving her sister fright, but frightening the poor dogs as well. This theatrical scene was captured by Reynolds because the fourth Duke and Duchess actually had a theatre here at Blenheim Palace. When you came through from the first courtyard, facing opposite you was a door going into the orangery. That is where the Duke's exotic fruits were originally grown. Then it became a theatre for the fourth Duke of Marlborough. Today, that is now our weddings and event suite. But years ago, the fourth Duke's children would often act on the stage in the theatre there, alongside the servants of the household and also actors from the University of Oxford would also come and perform for the Duke and Duchess. Now, this story revolves around the young lady Charlotte because when she grew up, she was a very beautiful young lady and at the time, uh, coming here to act on the stage was this handsome young actor, Edward Nares, who caught her eye. Lady Charlotte and Edward developed a romance and gossip said that they were to be married. However, the fourth Duke and Duchess said that Edward Nares was far too beneath of a lady of such standing in society of Lady Charlotte, and he was not good enough for their daughter to marry. So, to prevent this from happening, they banished Edward Nares from the palace and prevented such a marriage. However, Lady Charlotte, a willful young lady, left the palace late at night, walked all the way to Oxford in the dark, incognito, to meet up with young Edward Nares, whom she would elope with and then marry. When the fourth Duke and Duchess of Marlborough found out that their daughter had disobeyed them and married the man which she, they then disapproved of, they then banished them from the family, exiling them from Blenheim, never to step foot on the property again. Unfortunately for poor Lady Charlotte, after the birth of her only child, she then had a terrible accident and died. When the fourth Duke of Marlborough, in his remorse, found out of this terrible accident, and the death of his daughter, he was so grief-stricken that he require, requested her body would be brought back here to Blenheim and buried beneath the chapel in the family crypt. Unfortunately for poor Lady Charlotte, her late husband's body was then buried elsewhere, so they were separated. But the fourth duke was then reunited with his daughter, separated in life, united in death, beneath the chapel. It is from the chapel that Lady Charlotte's spirit leaves, wanders the palace on a daily basis, looking for her love, Edward Nares. And I have to say that the house guests staying here in the palace today often hear the faint sobbing of a young lady crying out for her love, Edward Nares. Now, if you turn to look at the far end of this room, you'll see another in the family. Also buried there is the fourth Duke of Marlborough and his daughter, Lady Charlotte Spencer, separated in life, united in death. And only last year, the crypt was opened up for the burial of his grace, the late 11th Marlborough, God rest his soul. I must say that ever since that day last year, the walls in the chapel and the colonnade have become rather active. Now, ladies and gentlemen and children, this is the end of your tour. I hope you've enjoyed it. And remember this, that over the 300 years in this great house, many people have lived, lived and died, and many spirits remain.
So, on this week of Halloween, I wish you a happy Halloween and have a safe journey. Thank you very much for listening.